Hey, what's up, everyone? You're here with Chris and Goran, the Kick Dogs from Pig Dogs. Thank you for joining us here. Uh, we are kicking off round three of uh, World, World Cup group stage, Chris, with this Ecuador versus Senegal game. Uh, there are no more 5 a.m. AM games here, so that's good for us. Uh, we have two games at 10 a.m. and two games at 2 a.m., if I'm not mistaken, Chris. And uh, this one could directly decide who will advance uh, to the knockouts from Group A. Well, you scared me there. You said 2 a.m. I think it's 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Sorry. I was going to say, don't, don't, I, it was 5, 5 a.m. was bad enough. We don't need to go back three hours. But, uh, no, yeah, this is, this is going to be an interesting one because it's basically, you know, like you said, you, you win and you're in. And, and I think more pressure, obviously, on Senegal being the team that needs to, to get the full three points to, to jump ahead of Ecuador here. But the thing for, for, for me is that I, I wasn't overly impressed with, uh, Senegal against Qatar. Um, yeah, Senegal got the win 3-1. That's great. But I think if you watch that game, it what there wasn't as much of a golf in in uh, in play as maybe that line and a couple of those statistics would suggest. Qatar still had 45% possession. They had ten, they had 10 shot attempts. Uh, they just couldn't they just couldn't really hit the target. And Senegal I think just took advantage of the fact they were playing a weak Qatar team, arguably the worst host country in World Cup history. Um I, I think it was nothing more than that. Ecuador looked really good defensively against the Netherlands. Um, they've been, in my opinion, the best team in the group. I, I know that might be a, you know, a, a shock statement to, for, for some to hear, but I think Ecuador just strong defensively. I think Senegal is going to have a hard time breaking them down. I personally like Ecuador here on the money line. At, uh, I think I'm seeing plus 140, so that's where I'm going to go on this one. Yeah, you know what? Ecuador has definitely been outstanding uh, so far in the World Cup, possibly one of the best South American teams, maybe even the best. Uh, I know that we have Brazil and, and Argentina in that conversation as well, but uh, I think that Ecuador has shown the most so far, uh, even though Brazil has both wins, yes. But, uh, I mean, offensively, they, they scored those three goals uh, while conceding only one. And, uh, like I mean, like you said, defensively, they were really, really good. They used a lot of their chances when it comes to scoring goals. And... Uh, I believe they deserve to be slightly bigger favorites than they are at, at plus 143 that I have it in my book. Senegal on the other side, they did beat Qatar, but uh, we keep mentioning that Senegal with Sadio Mane and without Sadio Mane are two completely, completely different teams. And the only way they're going through the group stage here, Chris, is if they get a win. And that's something that's going to be very hard to accomplish. Of course, a lot is at stake for Senegal here, and they will definitely show up for this game. Now, can they outscore Ecuador? Uh, I'm not so sure. But I do believe that Senegal will get on the scoreboard. So, uh, I like both teams to score in this one at plus 110. I mean, on, on, on Monday we had two games with, uh, what, six goals each. And then we had one goal in that Brazil game. And then we had two goals in that Portugal game. So, anything could happen, to be honest. But I just can't imagine Senegal not showing up for this game and not to try something because a lot is at stake for them. So Ecuador, like we said, outstanding team offensively, using a lot of their chances, and I I don't doubt that they will get on the scoreboard. The only question is if, if, if Senegal can do it. So I will still take uh, that plus 110 price on both teams to score, Chris. Yeah, I think, A, well, first off, I think this is, you know, the third third day of any world cup is, is is the one that has the most volatility just because you have to try to figure out who has what to play for and you know who's going to show up and and you know try to try to give your best opinion based on that but the thing for me with, with Senegal is that I know you, Gordon you mentioned you, you can't see Senegal you know not showing up and at least throwing something they can they can show up I show up at the gas station buying a lottery ticket in the hopes I'm going to win 60 million dollars doesn't mean it always happens so I I think that like I said Ecuador for me has just been too hard to break down like I said, I do expect Senegal to, to to show up and play, but at the end of the day, I just think that the, that the, the talent rules out, the play rules out, and uh, and Ecuador gets the win to uh, to secure their spot in the round of 16. So I'm sticking with Ecuador on the money line. Well, there you have it, guys. If we get a 2-1 win for Ecuador, both of us are going to be happy, and uh, <laughs> that's the result we'll take any day. So that's it, guys. Thank you for joining us here. This was your free pick in this Ecuador versus Senegal matchup. Uh, World Cup group stage round three. After that, we are going to the knockouts. Uh, make sure you check out the rest of the free picks up on the Pig Dogs YouTube channel, guys. 
There's a lot of them up there. There's a lot more to come and there's a lot of parlay still to come. So stay tuned, hit that like button and we'll see you guys soon with more free winners.